Ever heard of Ted Bundy? Brace yourself for a chilling journey into the mind of the most charming psychopath in American history. From his enigmatic charm to the darkest corners of his crimes, this reel will unravel the haunting story of Ted Bundy. Ready? Theodore Robert Bundy, you are charged, indictment, two counts burglary, two counts murder in the first degree, three counts attempted murder in the first degree. Design or attempt to affect the death of said Lisa Levy. My chance to talk to the press. Contrary to section 78204, Florida statute. I'll plead not guilty right now. Ted Bundy's early life was shrouded in mystery and instability. Born on November 24, 1946, in Burlington, Vermont, he entered the world as Theodore Robert Cowell. His mother, Eleanor Louise Cowell, presented him as her brother's child, and Ted initially believed his grandparents were his parents. The circumstances surrounding his birth would later contribute to his feelings of confusion and alienation. The family moved to Tacoma, Washington, where Bundy spent much of his childhood. Bundy's mother eventually married Johnny Bundy when Ted was four, and he took his stepfather's last name. Despite the attempt to provide a stable family life, Ted's early years were marked by challenges. Reports suggest that Bundy displayed troubling behavior even in his youth, such as an early fascination with knives and a tendency to peer into other people's homes. As a student, Bundy showed signs of intelligence, charisma, and ambition. He attended the University of Puget Sound and later transferred to the University of Washington, where he pursued a degree in psychology. Despite his outward appearance of normalcy, Bundy's darker tendencies began to emerge during this time. He had difficulty forming close relationships and became involved in petty crimes, foreshadowing the more heinous acts that would define his later life. In the late 1960s, Ted Bundy embarked on his journey into young adulthood, marked by a facade of charm and intelligence that masked the growing darkness within. Enrolling at the University of Washington, Bundy continued to pursue his interest in psychology, which would later become a twisted tool in his crimes. During this period, Bundy presented himself as a charismatic and ambitious individual. He became involved in local politics and worked on a suicide hotline, further enhancing his public image. However, beneath the surface, he harbored a growing resentment and anger that would manifest in disturbing ways. Bundy's criminal activities began to escalate during this time. While the exact timeline of his first attacks remains uncertain, it is believed that he started assaulting women as early as 1974. His initial crimes were marked by brutality, and Bundy would later reveal that he felt a compulsion to control and dominate his victims. The early 1970s saw Bundy honing his predatory tactics. He would approach his victims under the guise of needing assistance, using crutches or feigning injuries to lower their guard. This cunning approach allowed him to gain the trust of unsuspecting young women, setting the stage for the horrors that would follow. As the 1970s unfolded, Ted Bundy's criminal activities escalated, marking a dark chapter in the history of American crime. His predatory behavior intensified, and the charismatic facade he presented to the world became a chilling mask for his heinous acts. Bundy's crimes spanned across several states, creating a complex web that confounded law enforcement. The young women he targeted shared common traits. They were typically college students with long, straight hair, resembling the appearance of a former love interest. Bundy's disturbing pattern suggested an unsettling obsession with a specific type of victim. His modus operandi involved elaborate ruses to lure his victims. Whether posing as an authority figure, feigning an injury, or seeking assistance, Bundy exploited the trusting nature of his targets. Once he gained their confidence, he would overpower and abduct them, leaving behind a trail of disappearances that perplexed investigators. The widespread nature of Bundy's crimes made it challenging for law enforcement to connect the dots. His ability to seamlessly blend into different environments and adopt various personas allowed him to continue his reign of terror unchecked. As the body count rose, Communities across multiple states were gripped by fear and confusion. The escalating violence and audacity of Bundy's crimes demanded a coordinated effort from law enforcement agencies. 
the collaborative investigation that ensued would eventually uncover the extent of Bundy's depravity and shed light on the disturbing mind behind the charming exterior. Ted Bundy's ability to elude capture became a defining aspect of his criminal saga as he continued to slip through the fingers of law enforcement, leaving a trail of chaos and terror in his wake. As the investigation into the series of disappearances gained momentum, Bundy became increasingly adept at avoiding detection. His intelligence, charm, and knowledge of criminal investigative techniques allowed him to exploit weaknesses in law enforcement procedures. Multiple times, he narrowly escaped custody or detection, adding an element of frustration to the efforts to bring him to justice. One notable instance occurred during a routine traffic stop in 1978. Bundy's Volkswagen Beetle, which had become associated with several abductions, was pulled over by the police. Unbeknownst to the officers, they had apprehended one of the most notorious serial killers in American history. Bundy's arrest marked a crucial turning point in the exhaustive pursuit that had spanned multiple states. Facing mounting evidence and growing public awareness, Bundy's reign of terror was unraveling. Law enforcement agencies across the country collaborated to build a case against him. The charismatic facade that had shielded Bundy from suspicion began to crumble as investigators pieced together the puzzle of his crimes. With Ted Bundy finally in custody, the legal system braced itself for a trial that would captivate the nation. Bundy, demonstrating his intelligence and charisma, chose to represent himself, creating a courtroom spectacle that would become a dark chapter in American legal history. The trials were marked by Bundy's attempts to manipulate the proceedings. He cross-examined witnesses, including himself, and used his charm to try to influence the jury. Despite his efforts, overwhelming evidence linked him to a series of gruesome murders and survivors bravely testified against him. As the trial progressed, Bundy's mask of normalcy began to slip. The true extent of his crimes emerged through witness testimonies, forensic evidence, and Bundy's own chilling confessions. He described the details of his abductions, the brutality of the murders, and his post-mortem rituals, providing a disturbing glimpse into the mind of a serial killer. Despite his attempts to undermine the legal process, Bundy was found guilty on multiple counts of murder and sentenced to death. The verdict marked a symbolic victory for the victims and their families, as well as a milestone in the pursuit of justice. Having been sentenced to death, Ted Bundy's life entered its final, protracted phase on death row. Incarcerated in Florida State Prison, he continued to capture the public's attention through a series of appeals and media coverage that surrounded his impending execution. Bundy's time on death row was marked by his attempts to delay the inevitable. He filed numerous appeals, maintaining his innocence and challenging the legality of his convictions, these legal battles added another layer of complexity to the already infamous case, prolonging the suffering of the victims' families. Amid the legal wrangling, Bundy's notoriety reached new heights. He became the focus of intense media scrutiny, with interviews, documentaries, and books examining his life and crimes. Bundy's case served as a chilling study of the psychology of a serial killer and the impact of such crimes on society. Despite his efforts to escape the death penalty, Bundy's execution date drew nearer. The state of Florida remained resolute, and on January 24, 1989, Ted Bundy was executed in the electric chair. His death marked the end of a chapter in American criminal history, but the impact of his crimes lingered on. With Ted Bundy's execution, the haunting saga of one of America's most notorious serial killers came to a close. However, the impact of his crimes continued to reverberate through society, leaving a lasting legacy that extended far beyond the confines of the prison walls. Bundy's case had a profound influence on criminal profiling and the study of psychopathy. The examination of his life and crimes contributed to a better understanding of the factors that drive individuals to commit such heinous acts. Law enforcement agencies incorporated lessons learned from Bundy's case into their methodologies for identifying and apprehending serial offenders. The media played a pivotal role in shaping Bundy's legacy, turning him into a cultural symbol of evil. Books, documentaries, and films explored the depths of his depravity, 
contributing to a morbid fascination with the mind of a serial killer. The public's enduring interest in Bundy raised ethical questions about the sensationalization of true crime and its impact on the victims' families. The families of Bundy's victims faced the challenge of healing and moving forward. His crimes left a profound and lasting impact on their lives, and the scars of his brutality continued to shape their experiences. In the dimly lit corridors of criminal history, Ted Bundy emerges as an enigmatic figure, a chameleon who seamlessly blended charm with unspeakable brutality. His unsettling journey begins in the shadows of early life, born into ambiguity in Vermont and raised in Washington. His childhood was marked by turbulent family dynamics and the ominous mystery surrounding his parentage, shaping the seeds of darkness in his formative years. At the heart of Bundy's criminal prowess lay his ability to wear a dual persona, a charismatic exterior that masked the malevolence within. This dualism, explored in depth, reveals how he maintained an outward facade of normalcy while concealing the sinister truth that lurked beneath. The chilling efficiency of Bundy's crimes demands scrutiny. His modus operandi is meticulously analyzed, seeking to understand the psychological motivations that guided his choice of victims and the macabre rituals that unfolded during the commission of his heinous acts. The age-old debate of nature versus nurture takes center stage as we probe into the factors that shaped Bundy's psyche. Did the turbulent circumstances of his upbringing, coupled with possible genetic predispositions, contribute to the emergence of a serial killer? Or was there an inherent darkness within him? Bundy's narcissistic tendencies and manipulative prowess were integral to his criminal success. This section dissects the psychological dimensions of his narcissism, unraveling how he exploited charm and deceit to lure his victims and evade the grasp of law enforcement. Within the recesses of Bundy's mind existed disturbing fantasies that fueled his monstrous deeds. The exploration of these psychological landscapes delves into how he compartmentalized his life to seamlessly navigate between the ordinary and the malevolent.